Haryana IPA, R -ya -a, carved out of the former state of East Punjab on 1 November 1966 on linguistic as well as on cultural basis, is one of the 29 states in India. Situated in North India with less than 1.4 percent 44,212 square kilometres 17,070 square miles of India's land area, it is ranked 22nd in terms of area. Chandigarh is the capital, Faridabad in national capital region is the most populous city of the state and the Gurugram is the financial hub of NCR with major Fortune 500 companies located in it. Haryana has six administrative divisions, 22 districts, 72 subdivisions, 93 revenue tessils, 50 sub tessils, 140 community development blocks, 154 cities and towns, 6,848 villages, and 6,222 villages panchayats. As the largest recipient of investment per capita since 2000 in India, and among one of the wealthiest and most economically developed regions in South Asia, Haryana has the fifth highest per capita capita income among Indian states and union territories at 180,174 rupees $2,500 against the national average of 112,432 rupees $1,600 for year 2016-17. Haryana's 2017-18 estimated state GSDP of $95 billion 52% services, 34% industries and 14% agriculture is growing at 12.96% 2012-17 CAGR and placed on the 13th position behind only much bigger states, is also boosted by 30 SEZs mainly along DMIC, ADKIC and DWPE in NCR, 7% national agricultural exports, 65% of national basmati rice export, 67% cars, 60% motorbikes, 50% tractors and 50% refrigerators produced in India. Faridabad has been described as 8th fastest growing city in the world and 3rd most in India by City Mayor's Foundation Survey. In services, Gurugram ranks number one in India in IT growth rate and existing technology infrastructure, and number two in startup ecosystem, innovation and livability. November 2016, among the world's oldest and largest ancient civilizations, the Indus Valley Civilization sites at Rikigari village in Hisar district and Barana in Fatihabad district are 9,000 years old. Rich in history, monuments, heritage, flora and fauna, human resources and tourism with well-developed economy, national highways and state roads, it is bordered by Himachal Pradesh to the northeast, by River Yamuna along its eastern border with Uttar Pradesh, by Rajasthan to the west and south, and Gagar Hakra River flows along its northern border with Punjab. Since Haryana surrounds the country's capital Delhi on three sides north, west and south, consequently a large area of Haryana is included in the economically important national capital region for the purposes of planning and development. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name Haryana is found in the works of the 12th century AD Apabramsha writer Vibhud Sridhar VS 1189-1230. The name Haryana has been derived from the Sanskrit words Hari the Hindu god Vishnu and Ayana home, meaning, the abode of God. However, scholars such as Muni Lal, Murli Chand Sharma, Ha Fadke and Sukhdev Singh Chib believe that the name comes from a compound of the words Hari Sanskrit Harit, green, and Aranya forest. History Prehistory The Vedic state of Brahmavarta is claimed to be located in South Haryana, where the initial Vedic scriptures were composed after the Great Floods some 10,000 years ago. Rikigari village in Hisar district and Barana in Fatihabad district are home to the largest and one of the world's oldest ancient Indus Valley civilization sites, dated at over 9,000 years old. Evidence of paved roads, a drainage system, a large-scale rainwater collection storage system, terracotta brick and statue production, and skilled metal working in both bronze and precious metals have been uncovered. According to archaeologists, Rikigari may be the origin of Harappan civilization, which arose in the Gagar Basin in Haryana and gradually and slowly moved to the Indus Valley. Medieval. 
Ancient bronze and stone idols of Jain Tirthankara were found in archaeological expeditions in Badli, Biwani, Ranila, Charkai Dadri, Badhara village, Dadri, Gurgaon, Ferozpur Jirka, Hansi, Hizar, Agroa, Kassan, Nahad, Narnal, Pahawa, Rewari, Rohad, Rodak, Isthal Bohar, and Sonipat in Haryana. After the sack of Botnar Fort during the Timurid conquests of India in 1398, Timur attacked and sacked the cities of Sursa, Fatihabad, Sunam, Kaithal, and Panipat. When he reached the town of Sarsuti, the residents, who were mostly non-Muslims, fled and were chased by a detachment of Timur's troops, with thousands of them being killed and looted by the troops. From there he travelled to Fatihabad, whose residents fled and a large number of those remaining in the town were massacred. The Ahirs resisted him at Aruni but were defeated, with thousands being killed and many being taken prisoners while the town was burnt to ashes. From there he travelled to Tahana, whose Jat inhabitants were stated to be robbers according to Sheriff Ad-Din Ali Yazdi. They tried to resist but were defeated and fled. Timur's army pursued and killed 200 Jats, while taking many more as prisoners. He then sent a detachment to chase the fleeing Jats and killed 2,000 of them while their wives and children were enslaved and their property plundered. Timur proceeded to Kaithal whose residents were massacred and plundered, destroying all villages along the way. On the next day, he came to Asand whose residents were fire worshippers, according to Yazdi, and had fled to Delhi. Next he travelled to and subdued Tughlaqpur Fort and Salwan before reaching Panipat whose residents had already fled. He then marched on to Lani Fort. The area that is now Haryana has been ruled by some of the major empires of India. Panipat is known for three seminal battles in the history of India. In the first battle of Panipat 1526, Babur defeated the Lodais. In the second battle of Panipat 1556, Akbar defeated the local Haryanvi Hindu emperor of Delhi, who belonged to Rewari. Hemchandra Vikramaditya had earlier won 22 battles across India from Punjab to Bengal, defeating Mughals and Afghans. Hemu had defeated Akbar's forces twice at Agra and the Battle of Delhi in 1556 to become the last Hindu emperor of India with a formal coronation at Purana Quila in Delhi on 7 October 1556. In the Third Battle of Panipat 1761, the Afghan king Ahmad Shah Abdali defeated the Marathas. Formation Haryana as a state came into existence on 1 November 1966 the Punjab Reorganisation Act 1966. The Indian government set up the Shah Commission under the chairmanship of Justice J. C. Shah on 23 April 1966 to divide the existing state of Punjab and determine the boundaries of the new state of Haryana after consideration of the languages spoken by the people. The Commission delivered its report on 31 May 1966 whereby the then districts of Hisar, Mahendragar, Gurgaon, Rodak and Karnal were to be a part of the new state of Haryana. Further, the tehsils of Jind and Narwana in the Sangrur district—along with Narayangar, Ambala and Jagadri, were to be included. The Commission recommended that the tehsil of Karad, which includes Chandigarh, the state capital of Punjab, should be a part of Haryana. However, only a small portion of Karad was given to Haryana. The city of Chandigarh was made a union territory, serving as the capital of both Punjab and Haryana. Bhagwat Dayal Sharma became the first chief minister of Haryana. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. Topic: <laughs> Religion. According to the 2011 census, of total 25,350,000 population of Haryana, Hindus constitute the majority of the state's population with Muslims mainly MEOs and Sikhs being the largest minorities. Muslims are mainly found in the Muat or Na district. Haryana has the second largest Sikh population in India after Punjab, and they mostly live in the districts adjoining Punjab, such as Sursa, Jind, Fatihabad, Kaithal, Kurukshetra, Imbala and Panchkula. Languages <inaudible> 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 
Hindi was the sole official language of Haryana until 2010 and it is spoken by the majority of the population 87.31%. Haryana has 70% rural population who primarily speak Haryanvi dialect of Hindi, as well as other related dialects, such as Bagri and Miwati. Significant minority languages spoken in Haryana are Punjabi 10.57%, Urdu 1.23%, Bengali 0.19%, and Nepali 0.10%. Additionally, 0.6% of the state population speak other minority languages. Culture Haryana has its own unique traditional folk music, folk dances, sang, folk theatre, cinema, belief systems such as Jathera ancestral worship, and arts such as Fulkari and Shisha embroidery. Folk theatre and dances Folk music and dances of Haryana are based on satisfying cultural needs of primarily agrarian and martial natures of Haryanavi tribes. Haryanvi musical folk theatre main types are Sang, Rasa Lila, and Ragini. The Sang and Ragini form of theatre was popularized by Lakmi Chand. Haryanvi folk dances and music have fast energetic movements. Three popular categories of dance are festive seasonal, devotional, and ceremonial recreational. The festive seasonal dances and songs are Gogaji, Gugga, Holi, Fog, Sawan, Tej. The devotional dances and songs are Shopaya, Holi, Manjira, Ras Lila, Raginis. The ceremonial recreational dances and songs are of following types, legendary bravery Kissa and Ragini of male warriors and female satis, love and romance Bin and its variant Nagini dance, and Ragini, ceremonial Damal dance, Goomer, Jumer, male, Korya, Lore, and Ragini. Topic. Folk music and songs Haryanvi folk music is based on day-to-day -day themes and injecting earthly humor enlivens the feel of the songs. Haryanvi music takes two main forms, classical folk music and Desi folk music, country music of Haryana, and sung in the form of ballads and love, valor and bravery, harvest, happiness and pangs of parting of lovers. Topic. Classical Haryanvi folk music Classical Haryanvi folk music is based on Indian classical music. Hindustani classical ragas, learnt in Garana Parampara of Guru Shisha tradition, are used to sing songs of heroic bravery such as Ala Khand about bravery of Ala and Udal, Jamal Fata of Maharana Udai Singh II, Brahma's worship and festive seasonal songs such as Tej, Holi and Fog songs of Falgun month near Holi. Bravery songs are sung in high pitch. Desi Haryanvi folk music Desi Haryanvi folk music Haryanvi country folk music The countryside or Desi native form of Haryanvi music is based on RAAG Bervi RAAG Bhairav RAAG Kafi RAAG Jajavanti RAAG Jinoti and RAAG Pahadi and used for celebrating community banami to sing seasonal songs ballads ceremonial songs wedding etc and related religious legendary tales such as Puran Bhagat Relationship and songs celebrating love and life are sung in medium pitch Ceremonial and religious songs are sung in low pitch. Young girls and women usually sing entertaining and fast seasonal, love, relationship and friendship related songs such as Fagan song for eponymous season per month, Katak songs for the eponymous season per month, Salmon songs for the eponymous season per month, Bande Bandi male-female duet songs, Sathna songs of sharing heartfelt feelings among female friends. Older women usually sing devotional Mongol Geet auspicious songs and ceremonial songs such as Bhajan, Bhat wedding gift to the mother of bride or groom by her brother, Sagai, Ban Hindu wedding ritual where pre-wedding festivities starts, Kwan Pujan a custom that is performed to welcome the birth of a child by worshipping the well or source of drinking water, Sanji and Holy Festival. Topic. Socially normative cohesive impact. 
Music and dance for Haryanvi people is a great way of demolishing societal differences as folk singers are highly esteemed and they are sought after and invited for the events, ceremonies and special occasions regardless of their caste or status. These inter-caste songs are fluid in nature, and never personalized for any specific caste, and they are sung collectively by women from different strata, castes, dialects. These songs do transform fluidly in dialect, style, words, etc. This adoptive style can be seen from the adoption of tunes of Bollywood movie songs into Haryanvi songs. Despite this continuous fluid transforming nature, Haryanvi songs have a distinct style of their own as explained above. Cuisine 81% people of Haryana are vegetarian, and cuisine of Haryana is based on fresh, earthy and wholesome ethos of its agrarian culture, where staples are roti, saag, vegetarian sabzi and abundance of milk products such as homemade nuni or tindi ghee, ghee clarified butter, milk, lassi, kheer. Geography Haryana is a landlocked state in northern India. It is between 27 degrees 39 to 30 degrees 35 N latitude and between 74 degrees 28 and 77 degrees 36 E longitude. The total geographical area of the state is 4.42 meters ha, which is 1.4% of the geographical area of the country. The altitude of Haryana varies between 700 and 3,600 feet 200 meters to 1,200 meters above sea level. Haryana has only 4% compared to national 21.85% area under forests. <laughs> Plains and mountains Haryana has four main geographical features. The Yamuna Gagar plain forming the largest part of the state is also called Delhi Dobe consisting of Sutlej Gagar Dobe between Sutlej in north in Punjab and Gagar River flowing through northern Haryana, Gagar Hakra Dobe between Gagar River and Hakra or Drishadvati River which is the paleo channel of the Holy Sarasvati River and Hakra Yamuna Dobe between Hakra River and Yamuna. See also, Dobe. The lower Shivalik hills to the northeast in foothills of Himalaya, the Bagar Tract semi-desert dry sandy plain to the southwest. See also, Bangar and Khadr. The Aravalli Range's northernmost low-rise isolated non-continuous outcrops in the south. Hydrography The Yamuna, tributary of Ganges, flows along the state's eastern boundary. Northern Haryana has several northeast to southwest flowing rivers originating from the Savalik hills of Himalayas, such as Gagar Hakra, paleo channel of Vedic Sarasvati River, Shatong, paleo channel of Vedic Drishadvati River, tributary of Gagar, Tangri River, tributary of Gagar, Kashalaya River, tributary of Gagar, Markanda River, tributary of Gagar, Sarsuti, Dangri, Somb River. Haryana's main seasonal river, the Gagar Hakra, known as Gagar before the O2 barrage and as the Hakra downstream of the barrage, rises in the outer Himalayas, between the Yamuna and the Satluj and enters the state near Pinjor in the Panchkula district, passes through Ambala and Sursa, it reaches Bikaner in Rajasthan and runs for 460 kilometers 290 miles before disappearing into the deserts of Rajasthan. The seasonal Markanda River, known as the Aruna in ancient times, originates from the lower Shivalik Hills and enters Haryana west of Ambala, and swells into a raging torrent during monsoon is notorious for its devastating power, carries its surplus water onto the Sinisa Lake where the Markanda joins the Sarasuti and later the Gagar. Southern Haryana has several southeast to northwest flowing seasonal rivulets originating from the Aravalli Range in and around the hills in Muit region, including Sahibi River called Najafgar Drain in Delhi, Dohan River tributary of Sahibi, originates at Mandoli village near Neem Ka Tana in Junjanu district of Rajasthan and then disappears in Mahendragar district. Krishnavati River former tributary of Sahibi River, originates near Dariba and disappears in Mahendragar district much before reaching Sahibi River and Indori River longest tributary of Sahibi River, originates in Sikhar district of Rajasthan and flows to Rewari district of Haryana. These once were tributaries of the Drishawati, Saraswati River, major canal 
canals are Western Yamuna Canal, Sutlej Yamuna Link Canal from Sutlej River Tributary of Indus, and Indira Gandhi Canal. Major dams are Kashalaya Dam in Panchkula District, Hathnakund Barrage and Tajawala Barrage on Yamuna in Yamunanagar District, Pathrala Barrage on Somb River in Yamunanagar District, Ancient Anakpur Dam near Sirajkund in Faridabad District, and Otu Barrage on Gagar Hakra River in Sursa District. Major lakes are Deagle Wetland, Basai Wetland, Badkal Lake in Faridabad, Holy Brahma Sarovar and Sanahit Sarovar in Kurukshetra, Blue Bird Lake in Hisar, Damdama Lake. Lake at Sona in Gurgram district, Havni Kund in Yamunanagar district, Karna Lake at Karnal, Ancient Sirajkund in Faridabad, and Tilyar Lake in Rodak. The Haryana State Waterbody Management Board is responsible for rejuvenation of 14,000 Johads of Haryana and up to 60 lakes in national capital region falling within the Haryana state. Only hot spring of Haryana is the Sona Sulphur Hot Spring at Sona in Gurugram district. Tasham Hill Range has several sacred sulfur pond of religious significance that are revered for the healing impact of sulfur, such as Pandu Tirth Kund, Surya Kund, Kakar Kund, Gyareja Kund or Vyas Kund. Seasonal waterfalls include Tikar Tal Twin Lakes at Morna Hills, Dosi Hill in Mahendragar District and Pali Village on outskirts of Faridabad. Climate Haryana is extremely hot in summer at around 45 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and mild in winter. The hottest months are May and June and the coldest December and January. The climate is arid to semi-arid with average rainfall of 354.5 mm. Around 29% of rainfall is received during the months from July to September, and the remaining rainfall is received during the period from December to February. Flora and fauna <inaudible> Forests Forest cover in the state in 2013 was 3.59% and the tree cover in the state was 2.90% giving a total forest and tree cover of 6.49%. In 2016–17, 18,412 hectares were brought under tree cover by planting 14.1 million seedlings. Thorny, dry, deciduous forest and thorny shrubs can be found all over the state. During the monsoon, a carpet of grass covers the hills. Mulberry, eucalyptus, pine, kicker, shasham and babool are some of the trees found here. The species of fauna found in the state of Haryana include black buck, nilgai, panther, fox, mongoose, jackal and wild dog. More than 450 species of birds are found here. Wildlife Haryana has two national parks, eight wildlife sanctuaries, two wildlife conservation areas, four animal and bird breeding centers, one deer park and three zoos, all of which are managed by the Haryana Forest Department of the Government of Haryana. Environmental and ecological issues Haryana Environment Protection Council is the advisory committee and, Department of Environment, Haryana is the department responsible for administration of environment. Areas of Haryana surrounding Delhi NCR are most polluted. During smog of November 2017, air quality index of Gurugram and Faridabad showed that the density of fine particulates 2.5 pm diameter was an average of 400 pm and monthly average of Haryana was 60 pm. Other sources of pollution are exhaust gases from old vehicles, stone crushers and brick kiln. Haryana has 75 lakh old vehicles, of which 40% are old more polluting vehicles, besides 500,000 new vehicles are added every year. Other majorly polluted cities are Biwani, Bahadurgar, Daruhera, Hisar and Yamunanagar. Administration Topic Divisions 
The state is divided into six revenue divisions, five police ranges and three police commissionerates c. January 2017. Six revenue divisions are, Imbala, Rotak, Gurgaon, Hisar, Karnal and Faridabad. Haryana has ten municipal corporations, Gurugram, Faridabad, Imbala, Panchkula, Yamunanagar, Rotak, Hisar, Panipat, Karnal and Sonipat, 18 municipal councils and 52 municipalities c. January 2018, within these there are 22 districts, 72 subdivisions, 93 tessils, 50 sub tessils, 140 blocks, 154 cities and towns, 6,841 villages, 6,212 villages panchayats and numerous smaller donis. Districts <inaudible> 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 Law and order Haryana Police Force is the law enforcement agency of Haryana. Five police ranges are Ambala, Hisar, Karnal, Rewari and Rodak. Three police commissionerates are Faridabad, Gurgaon and Panchkula. Cybercrime investigation cell is based in Gurgaon's Sector 51. The highest judicial authority in the state is the Punjab and Haryana High Court, with next higher right of appeal to Supreme Court of India. Haryana uses e-filing facility. Topic: Governance and e-governance. The common service centers (CSCs) have been upgraded in all districts to offer hundreds of e-services to citizens, including application of new water connection, sewer connection, electricity bill collection, ration card member registration, result of HBSE, admit cards for board examinations, online admission form for government colleges, long route booking of buses, admission forms for Kurukshetra University and Huda plot status inquiry. Haryana has become the first state to implement Aadhaar enabled birth registration in all the districts. Thousands of all traditional offline state and central government services are also available 24 7 online through single unified Umang app and portal as part of Digital India Initiative. Topic economy Haryana's 14th placed 12.96% 2012 17 CAGR estimated 2017 18 GSDP of $95 billion is split into 52% services, 30% industries, and 18% agriculture. Services sector is split across 45% in real estate and financial and professional services, 26% trade and hospitality, 15% state and central GOVT employees and 14% transport and logistics and warehousing. In IT services, Gurugram ranks number one in India in growth rate and existing technology infrastructure, and number two in startup ecosystem, innovation and livability. November 2016, industries sector is split across 69% manufacturing, 28% construction, 2% utilities and 1% mining. In industrial manufacturing, Haryana produces India's 67% of passenger cars, 60% of motorcycles, 50% of tractors and 50% of the refrigerators. Services and industrial sectors are boosted by 7 operational SEZs and additional 23 formally approved SEZs, 20 already notified and 3 in principal approval that are mostly spread along the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor, Amritsar Delhi Kolkata Industrial Corridor and Delhi Western Peripheral Expressway in NCR. Agriculture sector is split across 93% crops and livestock, 4% commercial forestry and logging, and 2% fisheries. Agriculture sector of Haryana, with only less than 1.4% area of India, contributes 15% food grains to the Central Food Security Public Distribution System, and 7% of total national agricultural exports, including 60% of total national basmati rice export. Topic: Agriculture. Topic: Crops. Haryana is traditionally an agrarian society of zamindars, owner-cultivator farmers. 
The Green Revolution in Haryana of 1960s combined with completion of Bakra Dam in 1963 and Western Yamuna Command Network Canal System in 1970s resulted in the significantly increased food grain production. In 2015 2016, Haryana produced the following principal crops 13,352,000 ton wheat, 4,145,000 ton rice, 7,169,000 ton sugarcane, 993,000 ton cotton and 855,000 ton oilseeds mustard seed sunflower etc topic <inaudible> fruits vegetables and spices Vegetable production was potato 853,806 tons, onion 705,795 tons, tomato 675,384 tons, cauliflower 578,953 tons, leafy vegetables 370,646 tons, brinjal 331,169 tons, gard 307,793 tons. Peas 111,081 tons and others 269,993 tons. Fruits production was citrus 301,764 tons, guava 152,184 tons, mango 89,965 tons, chiku 16,022 tons, aonla 12,056 tons and other fruits 25,848 tons. Spices production was garlic. 40,497 tons, fenugreek 9,348 tons, ginger 4,304 tons and others 840 tons. <laughs> Flowers and medicinal plants Cut flowers production was marigold 61,830 tons, gladiolus 24,486,200 lakh, rose 18,611,600 lakh, and other 6,913,000 lakh. Medicinal plants production was aloe vera 1,403 tons and stevia 13 tons. Topic: <inaudible> Livestock. <inaudible> Haryana is well known for its high-yield mora buffalo. Other breeds of cattle native to Haryana are Haryanvi, Miwati, Sahiwal and Neeli Ravi. Research To support its agrarian economy, both Central Government Central Institute for Research on Buffaloes, Central Sheep Breeding Farm, National Research Center on Equines, Central Institute of Fisheries, National Dairy Research Institute, Indian Institute of Wheat and Barley Research and National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources and State Government CCS How, LUVAS, Government Livestock Farm, Regional Fodder Station and Northern Region Farm Machinery Training and Testing Institute have opened several institutes for research and education. Topic: Industrial sector. Topic: Manufacturing. Faridabad is one of the biggest industrial city of Haryana as well as North India. The city is home to large-scale MNC companies like India Yamaha Motor Private. Limited, Havels India Limited, JCB India Limited, Indian Oil R and D, and Larson and Tubro L and T. Eyewear E Taylor Lenskart and Healthcare Startup Librate have their headquarters in Faridabad. Hisar, a NCR counter magnet city known as steel and cotton spinning hub, as well as upcoming integrated industrial Aero City and Aero MRO hub at Hisar Airport, is a fast developing city and the hometown of Naveen Jindal and Subhash Chandra of ZTV fame. Savitri Jindal, Naveen Jindal's mother, has been listed by Forbes as the third richest woman in world. Panipat has heavy industry, including a refinery operated by the Indian Oil Corporation, a urea manufacturing plant operated by National Fertilizers Limited and a National Thermal Power Corporation power plant. It is known for its woven matas or round stools. 
Sonipat, IMT Kunli, Nathupur, Rai and Bari are industrial areas with several small and medium-sized enterprises, including come large ones such as Atlas Cycles, ECE, Birla Factory, Osram Gurugram, IMT Minasar, Dundahara and Sona are industrial and logistics hub, that also has National Security Guards, Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs, National Brain Research Centre and National Bomb Data Centre. Utilities Haryana state has always given high priority to the expansion of electricity infrastructure, as it is one of the most important inputs for the development of the state. Haryana was the first state in the country to achieve 100% rural electrification in 1970 as well as the first in the country to link all villages with all weather roads and provide safe drinking water facilities throughout the state. Power in the state are Renewable and non-polluting sources Hydroelectricity Bakra Nangal Dam Hydroelectric Power Plant WYC Hydroelectric Station, 62.4 MW, Yamunanagar Solar Power Stations Faridabad Solar Power Plant, being set up by HPGCL Faridabad C Nuclear Power Stations Gorakhpur Nuclear Power Plant, 2,800 MW, Fadihabad, Phase 1 1,400 MW by 2021 Coal-fired thermal power stations Deenbandu Chahotu Ram Thermal Power Station, 600 MW, Yamunanagar Indira Gandhi Super Thermal Power Project, 1,500 MW, Jajar Jajar Power Station, 1,500 MW Panipat Thermal Power Station I, 440 MW Panipat Thermal Power Station II, 920 MW Rajiv Gandhi Thermal Power Station, 1200 MW, Hisar Services sector Transport Topic. Roads and highways Haryana has a total road length of 26,062 km 16,194 miles, including 2,482 km 1,542 miles 29 national highways, 1,801 km 1,119 miles state highways, 1,395 km 867 miles major district roads and 20,344 km 12, 641 miles. Other district roads ODR C. December 2017. A fleet of 3,864 Haryana Roadways buses covers a distance of 1.15 million kilometers per day, and it was the first state in the country to introduce luxury video coaches. Ancient Delhi Multan Road and Grand Trunk Road, South Asia's oldest and longest major roads, pass through Haryana. GT Road passes through the districts of Sonipat, Panipat, Karnal, Kurukshetra and Imbala in North Haryana where it enters Delhi and subsequently the industrial town of Faridabad on its way. The 135.6 km .3 miles Kundli Manasar Palwal Expressway KMP will provide a high-speed link to northern Haryana with its southern districts such as Sonipat, Gurgaon, Jajar and Faridabad. The Delhi Agra Expressway NH2 that passes through Faridabad is being widened to six lanes from current four lanes. It will further boost Faridabad's connectivity with Delhi. Railway Rail network in Haryana is covered by five rail divisions under three rail zones. Diamond Quadrilateral High Speed Rail Network, Eastern Dedicated Freight Corridor 72 km and Western Dedicated Freight Corridor 177 km pass through Haryana. Bikaner Railway Division of North Western Railway Zone manages rail network in western and southern Haryana covering Batinda Diwali Hanumangar Line, Riwari Biwani Hisar Batinda Line, Hisar Satalpur Line and Riwari Loharu Satalpur Line. 
Jaipur Railway Division of North Western Railway Zone manages rail network in southwest Haryana covering Rewari Reingas Jaipur Line, Delhi Alwar Jaipur Line, and Loharu Sikhar Line. Delhi Railway Division of Northern Railway Zone manages rail network in north and east and central Haryana covering Delhi Ambala Line, Delhi Rotak Tahana Line, Rewari Rotak Line, Jin Sonipat Line, and Delhi Rewari Line. Agra Railway Division of North Central Railway Zone manages another very small part of network in southeast Haryana covering Palwal Mathura Line only. Ambala Railway Division of Northern Railway Zone manages small part of rail network in northeast Haryana covering Ambala Yamunanagar Line, Ambala Kurukshetra Line, and UNESCO World Heritage Kalka Shimla Railway. <laughs> Metro Delhi Metro connects the national capital Delhi with NCR cities such as Faridabad, Gurugram and Bahadurgarh. Faridabad has the longest metro network in the NCR region consisting of nine stations and track length being 14 km. Skyway <inaudible> 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 The Haryana and Delhi governments have constructed the 4.5 km miles International Standard Delhi Faridabad Skyway, the first of its kind in North India, to connect Delhi and Faridabad. <laughs> <laughs> Communication and media Haryana has a statewide network of telecommunication facilities. Haryana government has its own statewide area network by which all government offices of 22 districts and 126 blocks across the state are connected with each other thus making it the first swan of the country. Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited and most of the leading private sector players such as Reliance Infocom, Tata Teleservices, Bharti Telecom, Idea Vodafone SR, Aircel, Uninor and Videocon have operations in the state. Two biggest cities of Haryana, Faridabad and Gurgaon which are part of National Capital Region come under the local Delhi Mobile Telecommunication System. The rest of the cities of Haryana comes under Haryana Telecommunication System. Electronic media channels include, MTV, 9XM, Star Group, Set Max, News Time, NDTV 24x7 and Z Group. The radio stations include All India Radio and other FM stations. The major newspapers of Haryana include Dainik Bhaskar, Punjab Kesari, Jag Bani, Dainik Jagran, The Tribune, Amar Uhala, Hindustan Times, Dainik Tribune, The Times of India and Hari Bhumi. <laughs> <laughs> Healthcare The total fertility rate of Haryana is 2.3. The infant mortality rate is 41 SRS 2013 and maternal mortality ratio is 146 SRS 2010 to 2012. Topic: Education. Topic: Literacy. Literacy rate in Haryana has seen an upward trend and is 76.64% as per 2011 population census. Male literacy stands at 85.38%, while female literacy is at 66.67%. In 2001, the literacy rate in Haryana stood at 67.91% of which male and female were 78.49% and 55.73% literate respectively. As of 2013, Gurgaon City had the highest literacy rate in Haryana at 86.30% followed by Panchkula at 81.9% and Ambala at 81.7%. In terms of districts, as of 2012 Rewari had the highest literacy rate in Haryana at 74%, higher than the national average of 59.5%, male literacy was 79%, and female 67%. Topic. Schools Haryana Board of School Education, established in September 1969 and shifted to Biwani in 1981, conducts public examinations at middle, matriculation, and senior secondary levels twice a year. Over 7 lakh candidates attend annual examinations in February and March, 150,000 attend supplementary examinations each November. 
The board also conducts examinations for Haryana Open School at senior and senior secondary levels twice a year. The Haryana government provides free education to women up to the bachelor's degree level. In 2015-2016, there were nearly 20,000 schools, including 10,100 state government schools 36 Arohi schools, 11 Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalayas, 21 Model Sanskriti schools, 8,744 government primary school, 3,386 government middle school, 1,284 government high school and 1,967 government senior secondary schools, 7,635 private schools 6,612 recognized unaided, and 821 unrecognized unaided private schools, and several hundred other central government and private schools such as Kendriya Vidyalaya, Indian Army Public Schools, Jawahar Navadaya Vidyalaya and DAV schools affiliated to central government's CBSE and ICSE school boards. Topic universities and higher education Haryana has 29 universities and 299 colleges, including 115 government colleges, 88 GOVT-aided colleges and 96 self-finance colleges C. January 2018. Hisar has three universities, Chaudhry Sharan Singh Haryana Agricultural University, Asia's largest agricultural university, Guru Jambeshwar University of Science and Technology, Lala Lajpat Rai University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, several national agricultural and veterinary research centers National Research Center on Equines, Central Sheep Breeding Farm, National Institute on Pig Breeding and Research, Northern Region Farm Machinery Training and Testing Institute and Central Institute for Research on Buffaloes CIRB, and more than 20 colleges including Maharaja Agresan Medical College, Agroa, Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad announced on 27 February 2016 that National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology would be set up in Kurukshetra to provide computer training to youth and a Software Technology Park of India would be set up in Panchkula's existing HSIIDC IT Park in Sector 23. Hindi and English are compulsory languages in schools whereas Punjabi, Sanskrit and Urdu are chosen as optional languages. Sports In the 2010 Commonwealth Games at Delhi, 22 out of 38 gold medals that India won came from Haryana. During the 33rd National Games held in Assam in 2007, Haryana stood first in the nation with a medal tally of 80, including 30 gold, 22 silver and 28 bronze medals. The 1983 World Cup winning captain Kapil Dev is from Haryana. Nahar Singh Stadium was built in Faridabad in the year 1981 for international cricket. This ground has the capacity to hold around 25,000 people as spectators. Tejali Sports Complex is an ultra-modern sports complex in Yamuna Nagar. Tau Devi Lal Stadium in Gurgaon is a multi-sport complex. Chief Minister of Haryana Manohar Lal Khadr announced the Haryana Sports and Physical Fitness Policy, a policy to support 26 Olympic sports, on 12 January 2015 with the words, We will develop Haryana as the sports hub of the country. Haryana is home to Haryana Gold, one of India's eight professional basketball teams which compete in the country's UBA Pro Basketball League. See also List of monuments of national importance in Haryana List of state protected monuments in Haryana Outline of Haryana Politics of Haryana Tourism in Haryana Haryanvi Cinema Notes <laughs>